Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how to create new request or response objects in Apache Edge using our SendMessage policy. Myself Anil Sagar, I work at Google and Apache platform. Let's take a simple use case. Uh, let's say whenever a client sends a request and Apache sits in between the backend and uh, the client, you can able to uh, create a new request which is completely different from the original request that is coming in. And you can able to use that new request to call some other target, get the response and use the response to construct or update the existing request and send it to the backend. Similarly, you can do same thing in the response flow where you can able to create new response objects. You can able to do that using a send message policy. Let's see it in action hands on. As you can see here, I have a simple uh, API here, which is a post call where the API expects latitude and longitude. Let's say the client is actually sending a city name, but the backend is actually expecting a latitude and longitude of that particular city. In this case, we have an API from Google Maps where it takes the address, which is nothing but city name, and gives the latitude and longitude. So how can you construct a new request and make an API call to Google Maps when the client is making a post call? As you can see, the target expects the post call and the client is making the post call but the Google Maps is a get call. So how can you create a new request in Apigee Edge to solve this problem? I'm in Apigee Edge, logged in as Argon Administrator, click on API proxies, click on best proxy, use reverse proxy, choose next, choose the proxy name as uh, a send message uh, new request demo. So I'm going to use existing API as HTTP colon slash slash HTTP bin dot arc slash post. Choose next. Choose pass through, choose the defaults, build and deploy. So I'm going to click on develop, go to uh, preflow, click on uh, best request. I'm going to use ascendances policy to construct a new request. So I will say am google maps uh, request, click add, uh, remove everything except uh, uh, set. So I'm going to remove everything except set. Since I'm creating a new request, I will say assign to create is equal to true request and give the name uh, to the request object. So I will say it as uh, Google Maps request slash assign to. So if you have to construct the request, so first thing is we need uh, query parameters. So I'm going to construct a query parameter. So query parameters. Uh, so query parameters and then query param uh, So query param name is uh, uh, Query param name is address and value will be uh, taken from the form parameter that we are sending request dot form param Dot address as you can see we are translating the form param into query param to this particular request and we have to set the verb so verb will be post So what will be post call, uh, sorry what will be get call, we are getting a post call but we are making get call and uh, let's attach uh, as per a service call to policy to make an API call to Google Maps. So I'm going to attach the service call out. So I'm going to take uh, the endpoint here and update it and then click on add. So I'm going to take the newly formed request and uh, give it to this particular service call out and then save the API. Let's see it in action. So click on trace, start the trace session. So I'm going to make a same API call. So when I make a same API call, as you can see here, there is a response from Google, right, for the Sydney and it, it got latitude and longitude. So you can extract this latitude and longitude using policy like extract variable policy and again modify the payload using SMSS policy. So that's how you can able to create new request objects or response objects in Apache Edge using SMSS policy. Please subscribe to YouTube channel and if you have any question, please feel free to post in computer.apache.com. Thank you.